just got a load of uh, 18 bales of straw and I think I've got the essence of this trailer kind of figured out. I should backtrack a little bit and say that this Hullet trailer, this new dumping conveyor belt trailer that I've been using, I got it as a demo from the guys at Hullet. So I've used it for all kinds of stuff at this point and some of it has been like perfect right on the money. The essence of the trailer has come out. Others I've been thinking, well, you know, I can use a different trailer for that job. Now before unloading the trailer and talking about what I see as like the essence of this Hollet trailer, I think it would be beneficial to take a little bit of a tangent and talk for a minute about multi-tools. Now who among us has not faced the dilemma of if you're going to carry a simple folding knife with you every day or if you're going to carry a Leatherman or some other brand of multi-tool. The multi-tool dilemma kind of goes like this. With the multi-tool, you've got more. I carried this multi-tool for years. Looks like I kind of beat it up. It's got a knife, it's got screwdrivers, it's got all the stuff of a multi-tool. But the dilemma is, do you carry the multi-tool and not have as good of a knife on board? And on the flip side, if you choose just to carry the simple folding knife, you're stuck without the screwdrivers and fish scalers and all the things that a multi-tool has to offer. And someone sent me an interesting one recently that got me thinking about the same issue. It is this Sol or SOL multi-survival shovel kind of thing. Now it is a multi-tool shovel in a sense, but it's based on the original foxhole shovel. This foxhole shovel is a straightforward folding shovel that does one thing and one thing well, which is dig. And the guys at SOL, they just added on to that. They added like a cutting edge on this side. And since seeing this collapsible SOL shovel, I've seen even more complicated multi-tool survival shovels with like knives in the handles and all kinds of wrenches built into the metal and screwdrivers and stuff. You almost lose track of the simplicity of the original shovel. In a sense, I think I've been thinking about this trailer a little bit like a multi-tool. And that's not really like the fault of the trailer or anything like that. It's just that since I've been running a dump trailer for so long, I think I originally came to think of this as a kind of like glorified dump trailer. Or said another way, like a multi-tool with a dump trailer at the heart. Now before rolling these off, let me just say that I have been using this Hallet trailer for all kinds of stuff. First and foremost, I have used it for hauling logs and I really like it for that. You can load them in the back of the trailer and slowly kind of convey them up to the front. It's also a pretty sweet firewood moving and firewood delivery trailer just for the same reason. Once you get a load of firewood in there, you can ease it out, drop some, sort it, drop some more. I've also used it to haul brush, you know, like branches and cut limbs and stuff. But for a huge load of brush, it's just a little bit on the small side and you don't really need that kind of deliberate delivery system when you're moving branches. All right, so right here is really what this trailer excels at. What I see is like the essence of this trailer. It can do a lot of things, kind of like any multi-tool. It's got a bunch of tricks up its sleeve, but this one, this trick is really kind of the coolest thing. If you've got pallets of stuff, and here it's just straw, but I have seen plenty of examples of people moving bricks and pavers and roofing material and sod and all that kind of stuff. If you are delivering or moving pallets and you do not have a forklift on site, like you don't have a way of moving that stuff off the trailer, this thing is what it's all about. Now I recently saw a deck over trailer with flap down sides so you can get at the stuff up front in the trailer. That's cool if you've got a forklift, but this thing allows you to unload without a forklift. All you've got to do is line it up and push it out the back.
There are just all those things a multi-tool is not. Kind of like with the Leatherman multi-tool or any multi-tool for that matter. There are all the things that a tool can do. But with this one, it's kind of like a handful of things that it does really well. It does without the assistance of a forklift or a piece of heavy equipment, and that is unloading. You can also load from the rear and push stuff forward, and that's cool. But the best thing about it, I think, kind of like the essence of the tool, is that you can tip it and push stuff out the back. It just means that you don't need another piece of equipment on site for unloading. In this case, it's just straw, not the heaviest load, but if you're moving IBCs or blocks of brick or asphalt or sod, it's just nice to be able to get that conveyance going on with a trailer. All right, those are my thoughts about the essence, the essential duties, the best things that can be done with the Hallett trailer. And if you're looking for one of these things, you can get them at the haulit.com website or call Randy. There's his number. Randy wasn't here for this one, but he's a pretty good guy.